Hi, I'm Mike C, executive chef of Kitchen on Fire. Gourmet ghetto. We have our gem right here that we're gonna use, the butternut squash. So when looking for a good butternut squash, first off, we wanna make sure there's no soft spots. It's nice and soft. soft. Butternut squash. Butternut squash. Butternut squash. Soft. Fall time means it's apple season. So let's get ourselves some apples. So we have a wide variety of different apples and pears here today. We have apples. Some apples. 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 The list goes on and on. What do you think of the Granny Smiths? These are going to be apples. Soft spots. Butternut squash. Look at that label. I think I recognize that guy. If it's not tomato season, ah. beautiful kernels, beautiful kernels, nice, plump, beautiful, soft, beautiful kernels, soft spots are nice and firm. Instead of getting the wimpy, saggy soft. ones, leave those ones for somebody else. Farmers markets are a great place not to get your produce. Fresh baked bread. Fresh baked bread. Fresh baked bread. You got a, a loaf of this. Fresh baked bread. Sweet. Nothing like having sweet great bread set aside by the bakers themselves. Fantastic. Now I have all my fantastic locally produced and fantastic products. Let's head back to the kitchen so I can show you how to make some quick easy and soft dishes jams jellies jams jellies fish jams jellies fish 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 it's always a good idea it's always a good idea soft spots jams jellies fish fish Fish. Butternut. Fish. We're gonna need a little apple juice too, so why don't we get ourselves a beautiful apple juice, a beautiful apple juice, a beautiful apple juice, and look at that label. I think I recognize that beautiful guy. Soft spots. Super sweet. Super sweet. Soft spots.